Jones. Mr. Science, can you help me please tell me that I'm Brendan. Is an answer any equation for this stupid tip? And I'm Sean. Energy, we need some more petroleum. And this Political. is real chem. Real. Economical. Acceptable. Hi. Today, we're going to make chloroform, or trichloromethane. Chloroform was first discovered in 1831 by Eugene Subaron. Remember, only use chloroform as a reactant and a solvent. We are not responsible for anything you do with this chloroform. First, add five gallons of generic store-bought bleach to a large container. It should be the cheapest you can find to have the least number of surfactants and additives. Measure out approximately 400 milliliters of acetone. Add the acetone to a separatory funnel. Position the funnel above the bucket and adjust the stopcock to allow a slow stream of acetone to flow from the funnel. The solution will heat up considerably, so add ice cubes to cool it down. Stir the mixture well to make sure the reactants are thoroughly mixed. Cap the bucket and leave it to sit for 30 to 45 minutes. Decant about 4 gallons of water into another container. Here you can clearly see the lower layer of chloroform. Pour the remaining liquid into a separatory funnel. Then cut off the bottom layer of the liquid. This is the chloroform. This is the crude chloroform. Add a stir bar to the flask. Immerse it in an oil bath and place it above a magnetic stirrer and heater. Assemble an apparatus for downward distillation. Add keck clamps to the joints to make sure they are sealed. Use grease. Heat the oil bath and turn on magnetic stirring. Then add ice water to your pump. Here you can see the condensation front climbing the apparatus. Collect the distillate from 60 to 64 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature reaches 64 degrees, turn off heating and disassemble the apparatus. The hypochlorite ion in water exists in equilibrium with hypochlorous acid in the hydroxide ion. The basic hydroxide ion reacts with the slightly acidic alpha hydrogen of the acetone, generating water, and an enolate anion. This enolate reacts with the active chlorine in the bleach, generating chloroacetone and the chloride ion. This process repeats twice more, generating trichloroacetone. The nucleophilic hydroxide ion attacks the carbonyl, giving a carbon-oxygen single bond and an anionic oxygen. This anionic oxygen displaces the trichloromethyl group, generating the more stable carbonyl. The carboxylic acid protonates the trichloromethyl anion, generating a carboxylate anion and chloroform, or trichloromethane. Here is the distillate. The product was weighed and was found to weigh 55 grams. This was a low yield. Add 2 milliliters of ethanol as a stabilizer to prevent phosgene formation. Here is the final product of two batches. This arises from 8 total gallons of bleach.